Hey, what's up everybody? Let's jump in and take a quick look at some of the minor UX and layout enhancements inside of Photo Raw 2024. There's a few things that we've updated to make Photo Raw look more modern and more intuitive and easier to access for all users. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these enhancements. So inside of Photo Raw 2024 here, let's just take a look at some of these minor UX enhancements and some minor changes uh, within the 2024 version of Photo Raw. Let's go into first the Levels tab here within the Edit module. The histogram now has a shiny new update. It looks much cleaner, much more modern, and it's just much more pleasing to work with when you're modifying your tone and color. Within the Layers pane, our blend modes are now right at the top here along with Opacity, so we don't have to go into that gear icon down here anymore. We can just instantly access our blend modes there and then we can modify that opacity. Keep in mind, you can always just hover over the opacity and you can use that as a slider as well. Or you can simply go into that menu there. Another update and change is how we view masks and blending options. So let's just select this dynamic contrast filter here. We'll select the masking options. Then we'll pull up this properties inspector here. And within the properties dialog, we can modify the blending and the masking. Now within the masking tab and even the blending tab, you can open up these different settings by just selecting them. Down at the bottom of the masking tab here, the icons have changed just a little bit. The first icon here is inverting the mask and you can see what the icon does just by hovering over it. The second icon is a luminosity mask. The third icon will reset the mask. We have copy mask, paste the mask once you've copied a mask, and then we can view the mask. And again, if you're not sure what one of these icons does, just hover over it and it will give you a description. 